Hey, how many guys are there? Huh? How was it, man? How was uh, it? <laughs> it was all right, man. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. We got done, like, really, really early. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then, um... It was, uh... They said I, I needed a shop steward for me to... You? Yeah. For what? Uh, they said that I... <laughs> No, nah, they, they they told me about it. No problem, Manny. Um, they said uh, the super brother asked me uh, yesterday to do something and I ain't do it. And I was like, what? So, I don't know. They said they want to talk about it. So, you want tomorrow? They wanted to do it today, but uh, I guess they forgot. I don't know. I, I, I was, even when they, they told me they were looking all, they was like, this is the time. I said, man, I don't know. Who who, who was it? Um, uh, TK. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's why when James came up to me and said he he, he was even gonna be like, I don't know. So yeah, no, I don't know. I guess you know when we fight on grievances, man. You know we got over hundred. Mm -hmm. Literally. Literally. <laughs> I don't know, man. Where you at, Dave? We we still looking for him, man. Yeah, man. We need some sources like they got. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, 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 happy. Joy, joy, joy. Thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of the 623 Lives Matter radio show on WOM South Philadelphia Community Radio. Uh, 92.9 every Wednesday. For everybody that's watching on Facebook Live, we appreciate you. Everybody that's listening on the radio, thank you as well. Um, man, we just gonna jump right into it, man. There's a lot of stuff that's been going on um, over the past week, um, especially this weekend. Um, number one, you guys heard about our um, BA that quit on us from Oregon Avenue where I wouldn't be. And there was a whole lot of this, that, back and forth, and why did he quit? Um, what was the reason why he quit? There was a whole lot of reasons. Uh, we don't know the exact particulars. We heard that he reached out to some people and told some things. Um, one of the things I've heard it was that uh, he didn't like the direction of way things were going. Um, who knows? Heard it was all, all kind of stuff. We'll probably never know. But of course, when there's no transparency from our e-board on anything, um, it, it just leaves up the speculation. Who, who knows what happened? Um, Jumbo, who's on the board, he don't even know what's going on. And that's a shame. He is a elected official on our e-board, and he does not know why one of his e-board members is off the board. Uh, that That's saying a lot. I mean, what are you hiding? What's going on? What's happening? But another thing that you guys might have heard, that's my phone been buzzing. Even today I was getting um, some text messages in class. I know I know you still getting calls and texts. There was a rumor that uh, myself and Brother Babby back here were offered a position on the current e-board because of, of uh, what's been going on. Just The e-board e is in disarray. There's a lot of confusion and, and it's just it's just, it's a mess. So the rumor was that I was offered a position of a business agent, and I turned it down. <clears throat> and so since I turned it down, my brother back here he took it. That was the rumor. So I never forget I was at a meeting on 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 Saturday, and uh, one of our brothers called me and I couldn't take the call, so he sent me a message, and I was like, what? So we want to let you guys know the truth. And from moving forward, whenever, if you don't hear something from us that happened, don't believe it. Unless you hear from one of us, do not believe it. We do not operate in confusion. That's not what we're about. We're about transparency and truth. So all this other stuff you hear, number one, you got to check the source, where it's coming from. And like I said, if it's not coming from us, 
don't believe it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to elaborate a little bit on that. Now, we have a Facebook page, 6 Truth 3 Lives Matter. Anything that we're involved in, <coughs> if, if you don't see it on that page, 6 Truth 3 Lives Matter page, then most likely it's not true. And I was not offered a position on the, on the executive board. I did not accept a position on the executive board. I am a 6 to 3 Lives member slate. I mean, a slate member, and I always will be. So that rumor <laughs> that, 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 that came up on, on Facebook is completely false. And one of the things that really bothers me about people who, who think they want to be in a leadership position is putting out false information. How can you call yourself a leader or want to be a leader when when you basically just throw out stuff, don't check the facts, don't check any don't don't check where it's coming from, and you put out there to be true. And it, it, it kind of upset me because I guess like Rich said, we got plenty of calls, plenty of texts, and it wasn't the fact that people was asking me. It was the fact that people were saying, oh, yeah, this is what, what, what happened. Why you ain't telling me? Right. I'm saying, well, how am I going to tell you? If ain't nobody tell me. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. I, 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 had, I had no clue. I, was I, board, I right? ain't either. I didn't even know they offered it to me. But like I said, there was no meeting, no nothing. So if, if anybody here, like, like Rich said, if you don't hear from us, don't then believe it. do not believe it. Please it's don't believe true. it. Like I said, we don't operate in that kind of foolishness. We're all about being truth truthful, uh, transparent. That's what we've been, te you know, trying to get out there. Hey, listen, this it's going to be a whole new way of doing things from a leadership perspective at this at this local. That's how these guys operate. They operate in, in, in confusion and, and the less you know so they can take advantage of the situation. Now, the reason why some of the things, one of the things I think why they came up with this is because when you haven't been doing anything, and then, you know, um, the e-board and, 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 and it's disarray as it is, and it's just just chaotic everywhere in this local. As far as the leadership standpoint, you have to try to find something to grasp because, you know, hey, what's up, Eddie? What's going on, man? Good to see you, man. A lot of things that people will try to do to try to take you down because they're not doing it. They got to come up with something. And the, when we talked about this, Clarence, there's a, a few things that, you know, in a union that you want from your leadership position. Number one, you want them to protect and preserve and, and, and be um, progressive with the members. We do that. Right. Number two, you want to always, always, always fight for the members. We do that. Right. And ironically, we have to fight against our e-board and the IBT with Hoffa. We do that. So right. all these other people that plan on running and, and the people that's in the office, those are the things that they cannot knock us on. Everybody in this local, if, if, if they would have came out and said, Clarence, don't file grievances, automatically they would say, man, you crazy. You just filed about 60 the other day. Yeah, literally. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If they say, oh, man, hook a man, all he do is care about himself, man, he, he ain't no fighter. He ain't going to stand nobody. Everybody know that's a lie. Jumbo, man, he ain't this, man. He he, he, he just a cheerleader, this, that, and the other, man. He ain't fighting for nobody. He ain't doing nothing. Everybody know that's a lie. Oh, man, Espo don't know the contract. He's a walking contract. So they can't talk yeah. about the stuff that we do for the members or fight the company. So what they got to do, they got to try to separate the team. They got to try because it can't knock us on the things that we're supposed to be doing or what somebody in leadership is supposed to be doing. They gotta try to break us up somehow. What's the best way to do it? Let's turn Hooker and Bagby against each other. Okay, Bagby accepted the position that Hooker turned down. I thought they was best friends. Yeah. I thought they went to war together. What's up with that? Because you remember, and I know you do, you remember when we, when we um, for the shop through the elections, and there was a paper that said, vote for Richard Hooker for shop steward. And they came up, and you said, yo, man, what's up with, what's up with you and Hook? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, and that's what these guys are about. Yeah. They can't, they can't <clears throat> stop, they can't talk about these guys don't fight for the members. They can't say we don't know the contract. They can't say 
uh, uh, they don't stand up to half of the IBT or UPS. They can't say none of that. And, and as a member, you want somebody in position to do those things. We do it. So what they got to do, Clarence? We got to separate. We got to come back to the team. We got to try to divide these guys. Because if we don't, we know we have no chance come October. Right. And one of the biggest things most people want from their leadership is, is I cannot I cannot emphasize this enough, is trust. Oh, man. The reason why people <clears throat> come to us is because they trust us. And see, that's the thing. The reason why you'll never see us put up nothing false or no lies is because like as my job as a sport, <coughs> dude, my my main thing is always be honest because once you lie and you're not honest, you lose trust. Yeah. Trust is very easy to lose and almost impossible to get back. Right. So our e board right now, the, the membership don't trust. That's why so much turmoil. <coughs> People come to us because they trust us. And, that, 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 and that, that's that's a big thing, and right. that's why we want to be transparent. Because if we're transparent and you know everything that we know, then then the trust and the lines of communication are always right. open. If that's part of the reason why our eboard is in this right now, they don't tell us nothing that we need to know. They went through the whole contract issue, didn't tell us nothing we need to know. <laughs> then they spring stuff on us, and they want you to trust them. Right? How can you trust somebody who? negotiating for you, but don't tell you what's going on. Right. Then they tell you if you don't vote the way I want you to vote, or the way the company wants you to vote, right. then we're going to take this and take that. Right. That's 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 extortion. It's all, yeah. How are you going to trust somebody who is story? Right. How can you? You, 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 can't, you can't trust them. Oh, you, story. You're already taking my money. You tell me you, you're going to take more of it if I don't, <laughs> if I don't vote. That's what he said. And they get mad with folk because they get upset. Yeah. Like, you ain't got no right to be mad. Right. I, I don't I get that. And that's why, man, we wanted really to do this this show today because normally, and you guys know me, I try to stay away with giving people more spotlight than they need. I try to stay away from that. But because it was a pressing issue and people were really, like, confused about it, we really want to nip it in the butt now and not have it come back. It's probably going to come back up, but it might be worse stuff. So like I said, um, if you don't hear from us, if it's not coming from us, don't believe it. It's false. Uh, but again, when you don't do anything, haven't done anything, and you know, and the, and the e board, like I said, is in disarray. You got two business agents that quit on the members in less than a year. Um, all this stuff is coming out about Shanahan and this, that, and the other, and and all this. But you heard this before. People don't want to hear it, but you heard it before. And we're not we're not upset. We're not mad that you didn't believe us. But now you see it. And like they always say, seeing is believing. You know, and there's gonna be more stuff that we put out. Like I said, when we put out stuff about what we plan on doing in our current e-board, it's gonna be factual. It's nothing that we, that was gonna be made up. It's nothing that we heard on the street. It's nothing that, that somebody told us. It's actual stuff that they have done or have not done to to benefit the membership. And we're going to show you. You're going to be able to read it. And it, like I said, you're not going to be all mad at making this up. No. Like, for example, we're working on something now that um, we're trying to get people to focus on who they really are down to the core and not what you see um, topical-wise. For an example, you guys know this picture, and I'm going to tell you about it a little bit. There's this flyer that we're trying to put together that kind of demonstrates who they are down to the very core of what a union is supposed to be. And like I said, it's nothing made up, nothing that that we heard about. It's actually them. And you guys think about um, this whole Hoffa situation, how they've just refused to, to fight, stand up, against this guy i have no idea why it's just I, like i said i don't know why there was a picture that they took back at the convention years ago when they went to support him everybody was smiling and happy right now fast forward to now this whole convention thing the delegate thing these guys sat down on the membership 
and it came back around and it bit us all in the behind with this whole constitution thing. Because if you remember, when we went out there the first time, one of the things was to change the language in the constitution. They didn't want to have no parts of it. That's why when this, con this contract was opposed on us, they were very, very happy. They, were, they are not going to stand up for, against Hoffa. They'd rather stand up against you than stand up against him. But anyway, getting back to the flyer, we want to show you something that in contrast to, from us to them. The headline is going to be something like this. They support a Hoffa then, they still support him now. And that's factual. Yes. We didn't make that up. They proved yes. it to us time and time and time again. Everybody knows that this how this local is under Hoffa's control because of him. Now the, the the members don't want him, but they do. And as long as they in office, we're always going to get whatever he wants. If they want to impose a contract. We're going to get whatever he wants. If they're not going to fight, I mean, if he's not going to fight. They're not going to fight. Whatever he say do, they're going to do. But the problem to that is they work for us. Yeah. They get paid for off our dudes. Not Hoffa. Hoffa don't own that hall. Shanahan don't own that hall. We own the hall. When they flip that light switch on, our dudes keep the lights on. When they drive up to the hall and the cars we pay for and the gas, we put those, that gas, in the car. And they need to be reminded of that. But the only way to do that is People got to vote. People got to come out and participate. Like, for an example, this bylaw amendment. Now, you guys know what it's all about. The main objective is to be transparent when it comes to negotiations. Not just negotiations, but in every aspect of what your dues pay for. You need to know what your money is paid for. You, you need to know that. That's just what you're paying for. You need to know. So, again... When we put this out there, we need you guys to be out there. Like, like I said, I got over 30 pages full of signatures already. So I know you guys are for it. We know that. But it's one thing that I know that our e-board needs to see. They need to see our faces in that building. They need to know that you guys stand with us and stand with each other when it comes to being transparent. They were asked before. Negotiations even started about having a committee. The hall said, no, we're your negotiating committee. And look what they gave us. Nothing. We don't know anything. We don't know why things didn't go through the way we wanted. We presented our, our proposals. We don't know why they didn't go through. All we know is this is what we got. If we didn't vote, vote, vote yes the first time, this was what's going to happen. So, again, come out there to the Union Hall in January. Let's get the, 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 uh, the bylaw proposal to the Shanahan in February he's going to read it and then in March we got to vote on it so it can get accepted and we got to have two thirds of the people that's there at the hall to say yes to it and then it's implemented that way we'll never have to worry about whoever's in office not being transparent when it comes to negotiations or anything alright so again come out there it's coming up next next Saturday the 19th you got to come out there and let's do this right. And everybody got to, and everybody want to know, class, who's going to be the BA? Who you think going to be the next BA? <coughs> no, here's the thing. <clears throat> One thing, like, like you said, anytime we put a story out, we've already done the research. Right. We've always, we, we, we confirm it. Right. Before we say it. And. Who I think gonna be the BA? I don't see that. That's one thing I don't know, cause I, I don't want to put no names out there right. or anything like that. I really don't know who they want to pick. But what I do know is, I was not offered the spot. I did not accept the spot. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm gonna elaborate a little bit on what Rich was saying. When you guys go to work and you load your package cars, you unload whatever you do, whatever job that you do, money is taken out of that check that you earn and and goes to the union that union is obligated to protect your rights is obligated to protect the contract is obligated to make your living conditions better than than than, than the non-union uh shops right but now it seems like the non-union shops are the ones who are getting the bigger raises they're the ones getting the better conditions 
So and then so people are asking them, so why are we paying dues to these people when they're not doing nothing that they're supposed to be doing? Right. So we work hard, we pay our union dues, and our union we need people in office who's gonna protect what we pay for. Now, Jumbo, I gotta ask you a question, man. No, 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 before you ask no, me the no, question. Hold on, before you ask me the question. Listen, <laughs> everybody knows Hooker and Bagby. They're yeah. nice guys. All right, I'm coming to tell them the way it is. <laughs> Call in if you wanna find out what's going on. Okay, Rob Wharton B, trustee slash business agent. And organizer. Uh, organizer, yeah. Organize, organize what? That's what, it's, that's what his cards say. Oh, he ain't organized. We got no organizer. Hey, that's what it say. When I went out and organized, tried to organize, Hertz, Alamo, National, they said I was a troublemaker. Uh, Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, Rob Wharton B slash business agent slash the organizer. He, uh, he got fired. He quit. We don't know which one it is. It's a big secret. Saying Shanahan wrote him up, so we don't know. I'm on the board now, I don't even know. And that, that's what I want to ask yeah, you. That, that's sad. That's what I want to ask you. That's sad. How are you going to be on the board? The people elected you, elected trustee, and they won't tell you something like this happened. You, you, Izzy, uh, Joni, Morris, Shanahan, you guys should have been the first ones to know what's going on. They probably know. Well, I know they know. But why don't you know? Here's the thing. You know how you gonna be transparent? Say, if you can't be transparent with your own members, that's bad. How you gonna be transparent with the membership? I, I know. So that's, that's that's bad. Well, labor, labor is laughing at six twenty three right now. We <laughs> walk through the building, they laugh. They say, "Jump, y'all real joke. We know y'all fighting. It's sad. It's just, we're in a sad situation. Right. You know what I mean? And you know, all the drivers, you know, y'all voted for Shanahan. Now y'all know that Shanahan is weak. Come on now, Ron Kamak. I hope you're listening, Ron Kamak. You know Shanahan is weak. And a lot of people don't know the story. When George retired, they was fighting. They didn't want Bill Shanahan at the top of the ticket. They said he was weak. It was a big fight. Joni wanted to be at the top of the ticket. Kevin Malley wanted to be at the top of the ticket. So now, the five of them, I don't count. The five of them, <laughs> they're against Shanahan now. They see he's weak. So, so you said Izzy is against him too? Yeah, they, were, they, all, they, they don't want, listen, they didn't want Shanahan at the top of the ticket because they know he weak. Now they see how weak he was. Peak? No. Well, I know. I heard a story. Labor did whatever they wanted to do to us at Peak. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think they were going to throw him out the building. Yeah. I, we, we heard it. We until heard the story. Until he put his head down. <laughs> yeah, we heard about and it. And he was hollering at him. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, who, so what who, happened who's is. Who's yelling at Oh, I can't say who was yelling at him. It was a lot of people. It was big, the big boss was yelling at him. Yeah. Preload manager was yelling at him. Yeah. He put his head down. He ain't fight back. Oh, we had the shop steward. The shop steward was over there rumbling, right? He told the shop steward to be quiet because he's going to get fired. Told him don't put a grievance in because he ain't going to make a seniority, right? Now, you can say what you want to say. Everybody know I call it the way it is, right? Hey, but Shanahan is weak, man. Shanahan is weak, right? So I guess now you got Warden B., going to run against Shanahan. They're going to run against Richard Hooker. Bobby Curry, I think Bobby Curry might even run. <laughs> Bobby Curry don't even work there and knows more than we know. You but know, know what? If, if, if you want to know what Bobby Curry know, check the tabloids. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> you check the tabloids, you'll find anything they know. All right, so now we have the Christmas party Friday at any time at the 6.30 at Lehman's. Right off 291, right next to Big Joe's, right? So we had we had last year, we had the same problem. So the problem we had last year, they wanted $1,000 for the Christmas party. But Shanahan refused to give $1,000. They gave up $600, right? Rich Carroll and myself had to make up the difference for the drinks, right? So now we're having the Christmas party again, same place, anytime at the 6 o'clock, right? But here's the problem. I stopped the person who was in charge of the Christmas party. I said, well, how much they giving you? She said, I don't know. How can you have a Christmas party and you don't know what the budget is? She said, Jim, I don't know what to tell my manager. I said, well, I'll tell you what. Whatever they give up, we make up the difference. I said, let me know, right? It's sad that, you know, $1,000, $1,000 is not enough for a Christmas driver. The way them drivers drink, them drivers drink, man. Yeah. And you want food and drinks? For six hundred dollars, 
Yeah, I hear you. So what? And now I'm gonna understand. What's the big deal? Who's the next BA? Who's the next trustee? We'll what, what's next, the secret? We, we, that's that's what we what's know. the secret? That's well, here's what they tell me: Clarence Bagby, Clarence Bagby, <laughs> is the next trustee. Then they said Hooker was the next trustee. Slash BA. I mean, I mean, what's the deal? What's the big secret? But why don't they make you? You on the board? Normally, it go it go right you to the next listen, line, right? right. Listen, y'all know be. if they make me BA, <laughs> who gonna run the local? I'm gonna run the local. Right. I'm gonna tell Shanahan what to do. Y'all know that he weak. <laughs> y'all, y'all know I ain't gonna be BA. Y'all know I ain't gonna be yeah. BA. Yeah. But, that, but no, but that, that that's if, if you every, every time somebody off the board step down or retire, the next person the next slide person up. always moved up. So. For them not to put you in that spot, it, it says a lot about them. Like I said, Shanahan is weak. He can't be confronted. I mean, say, <clears throat> he can't confront the the, the, the UBS supervisor when he come in the building. Like I said, they tell him what to do. Yeah. Yell at him, you know all that. But, and I said, let me tell you, a lot of stuff has changed since he came in. Yeah. A lot of stuff has changed. Yeah. And it's like. Well, like Jumbo always say, he don't, like you ask about the concept, we don't know. Because I know what it says, I know how it's been, but then you ask the, ask the board, it's like, well, well we, it's, it's always different. It's something different, man. So you can read something in there that's black and white, and they'll tell you that it's gray. It's, it's, that's how it is with them. So, yeah, we, we, we definitely need to change a bit the top. All right, now, <laughs> the ramp has eight different seniority lists, all right? Uh, it's gonna be one week or the next. Uh, it's gonna be one week or two weeks. They taking 25, 22 threes from the twad. They moving them to the ramp. They're gonna be ramp ramp. They say they have more than enough part timers, right? So now you're gonna have nine seniority lists on the ramp. And <laughs> they have so many lists. And actually, it might be more than that because they got lists. That there's one or two people on there. I mean, it, 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 yeah, if you go over to the, the, the ramp side, they got all these different seniority lists. Some of the lists got one or two people on it. So it's like when they talk about doubles and whatever right. the case may be, you can pick and choose who you want. So that, that to me means seniority really don't mean nothing. You can pick and choose any list that you want that's up there. So you go over there and look for your friends or whatever the case may be. Right. And, and, and like I said, that's what transparency is. We don't know who they picking. We don't know how they picking. They just pick who they want to pick. Well, let me tell Johnny. Hey, 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 Johnny Ola, I wanted to tell you, man, that that rumor you heard was false. You know what I mean? None of us here was offered a position on that board. Uh, we don't know what's up with uh with Warren B. We don't know why you, why he quit. We don't know who the next BA going to be. Uh, we we don't know anything. They tell me the next BA is Clarence Smart. That's what they telling me. Oh, well, maybe they got the wrong clans then. Maybe they yeah, that's what they got. Yeah, they don't know which clans. Not bad. They could have been. Yeah, clans. We'll, we'll find out. Clans. One of the clans. One, one of the clans is gonna be the next BA. But <laughs> I, 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 I can assure y'all that Clarence Bagby did not <laughs> accept any spot on the board. I am a six two three lives member, and I've always been, always going to be. See, cause my thing is, it's not about being on the board. It can't. It's, it's not. It can't be about being on the board. Can't be about how much you make. It has to be about the membership and the membership right. only. Once you start thinking about other stuff, then the membership starts to suffer. Right, right. So for me, it's always going to be about what's best for the membership. Good morning, brother John. What's happening, man? Good to see you. Yeah, what happened is, I mean, it might seem like we're joking here, right? We are because 623 E Board, our local, is a joke. And that's what management says. They joke. They laughing at us. So that's the only thing we can do. I mean, you know. So laugh we, keep from crying. Huh? I mean, in November. <laughs> listen, November we had the next election, right? Everybody's saying they tired. They tired. Yep. They tired. They yep. tired. Listen, put it on paper. That's put it on paper. That's that's the you message. You gotta put it on paper. Listen, Richard Hooker for Secretary Treasury, right? Y'all seen what he did. Y'all know he's qualified. So just, I mean, they keep saying because. But every time I said, why you won't vote for Hooker? They said, because. Because what? All right? What I'm saying is, vote for Richard Hooker. Give him 36 months. We don't do the job. If Richard Hooker don't do the job. Then we out. I'm out. Just like I said, y'all put us there. Y'all say I ain't doing the job. I ain't running no more. You know what I'm saying? But you can't let the same people stay there. Right. Especially when you they're not I mean? doing the job. Now, you know, gave Shanahan a shot. Y'all gave him a shot. 
If you're happy with him, vote for him. If you're not happy with him, for him, if you're not happy with him, vote for Richard Hooker. Then listen, all y'all people, yo, call the union hall, make sure they got the, your current address, the right phone number, right? If you don't know how to vote, we'll be at the gate to show you how to vote. Listen, the next election is November. November's the next election, right? I'm standing at the bottom of the hill Friday night. Friday night. It's up there Friday night, 8 o'clock, Friday night. It's 12 o'clock Saturday. People say, Jim, what's up, Jim? I said, another election, right? They said, my Jim, when the election? I said, November. I said, my Jim, it's January. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to let y'all know we have another election. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because I got people coming up to me now talking about Jim. Can we still vote on the contract? <laughs> Come on now. Can you still vote in the contract? Come on now. And not only that, y'all have to update your current address. You got to update. Listen, we're going all out. Richard Hooker, Secretary Treasurer, we're going all out. Richard Hooker, Secretary Treasurer, we're going to let y'all know. Richard Hooker, Richard Hooker, <laughs> you have to vote for Richard Hooker if you're unhappy. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why he keeps saying that. A lot of guys may not know this in our, in our local, that the principal officer, picks the business agent doesn't necessarily have to be the the president or 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 any official like that the principal officer picks who he wants to be the business agent for the the local that's why he can so say for example next election the whole team gets an office but me that's what and and, and say shanahan's still there guess who shanahan gonna make his ba everybody that's on there now you see what I'm saying? So he's still going to have his people. The only way to get rid of the, this this whole thing, you got to get rid of the whole board. You got to get you got to get rid of the whole entire board. They all have to go. So you have to vote for Richard Hooker. Richard Hooker Jr., Secretary Treasurer, Local 623. Don't forget. And we're going to be we're going to be steady at the gate. You thought we was out there before, you're going to get we're going to be out there all the time. Every every moment, every moment we can, we're gonna be out there passing out information, giving you flyers, giving out shirts, everything. Every every single thing we need to do to get you guys to understand how serious this is. Yeah, and yesterday Clarence Clarence and I had a conversation, right? And the conversation went like this. Look, if you never worked preload, how can you be a BA for pre how can you represent preload? You know what I'm saying? Shanahan never worked preload. Joni did fuel in all life. Fueling and preload is two different animals. I, that's what I think, Clarence. <laughs> it is. And that's why our slate is so diversified with preload people, midnight people, driver. And the thing is, we we work the areas. And not only did we work the areas, we shop store the areas. So we, we, we know a lot about what's going on. Now, you, you want to hear people say stuff like, well, they've never been to arbitration. It never did this, never did that. The only thing arbitration is, is a hearing in front of different people. We've done hearings with full-time suits, part-time suits, labor managers, district managers. No, anybody that we're going to have to go to arbitration with, we've already done hearings with. We have more experience than anybody can say that we, that we had. We've done hearings with everybody. And the labor managers, they're all lawyers. You have... You have the labor manager that we have now came straight out of law school. The hearings with him already. We did hearings with Mike Clayton before he left. He was a lawyer. So we have plenty of experience at doing hearings. We have plenty of experience on enforcing the contract. And, if, and, and what's really sad is it's times that we, we try to enforce the contract <coughs> and our leader is the one who cuts us down, not the company. It's, 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 it's our leader who says, no, nah, no, nah, we can't do that. And my, and my thing, like, like Jumbo was saying about when he got yelled at and all that, how can you tell your member that I know you're supposed to have seniority, mm. but let's not make no waves? Mm. Like, dude, if, if, if I'm that member, I'm saying, man, what, what good are you? If, if, if you're telling me that you know I'm right, but I can't do it anyway, mm. Then do you 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 look, job. look what they did with uh, trying to do with Mr. Ivory Meeky. They was gonna short that man over three thousand dollars, and, and wouldn't even care. That's and didn't even care. 
That's the part that kills me. No, but they didn't even care. What's really sad is they told him that he <coughs> owed the company money. <coughs> right. <coughs> like Jumbo was saying earlier, we hear it. We hear it more now than we ever heard it before about how these guys are joking, how these guys got to go. I got a message from a guy not long ago as a shop student over at Oregon Avenue. He sent me this nice long message about how, and I meant, I'm going to have to read it, but I, don't, I got my phone over there. But the, the basis of it was, <coughs> hey, listen, I don't like the way these guys been doing business with the members. Uh, the way they handled this contract was really, really bad. He said, I only, I only got about a couple of years left, but I want to stick around just so I can see these guys get out of office. And that's what a, a, a long time, probably over 25 year supporter of these guys, and, and tell me, and I get these messages all the time. Now, I, again, I'm hoping that people that feel that way put it on paper because that's the only way we're going to get changes. Nice, you come up to me and say, Jumbo, you guys are right. These guys are no good for us. We appreciate what you guys do for us. We appreciate what you do for the local. Keep up the good work. We appreciate that. But when come November, October, November, make sure you put what you just said, mark it on the, on the, on the ballot. And now, not only that, right? Listen, something got to be wrong with Unity and Shanahan. Kevin Malley done quit or got fired. <laughs> B.A. Rob Wharton be B.A. That's he true. quit that's the whole true. board. That, that's, that's his Malley's true. still on the board. Rob yeah. Wharton be said, I'm, I'm, I'm off the whole entire board. Quit. So that looks like it's a problem with Shanahan. It's a problem with Shanahan. I mean, you can say this and that, right? So no one other thing, right? Listen, so, you know, <coughs> they tried to get me fired again. Tried to get me fired again. The e boy Shanahan, and his crony, they try to get me fired again. Guess what? We ain't going nowhere. Even if you fire me, even if I don't work for UPS no more, I'll be at the bottom of the hill. Vote for Richard Hooker. <laughs> Vote for Richard Hooker, Secretary Treasurer. Listen, Shanahan. Shanahan, Izzy, Joni, Mars. I'm not scared. You, you get me fired, you get me fired. Listen, you ain't going to stop me. We coming at you. Don't forget. Vote, vote, you must vote. Gotcha. Richard Hooker, Jr., Secretary Treasurer. And not only that, right, this is how weak we are, right? Yo, Hooker, Bagby, myself, we don't want the room. 10, 15, don't mean, no man, how many labor managers down there? Right. We don't want them by ourselves. So now, on the twine, they got to have two shops to it, two full-time shops to it, go doing the hair. They talking about, we're stronger together. Stronger together? They laughing at y'all. They saying y'all weak. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, my man, Fred. <laughs> now, we used to do hearings together, right? right. It's, it's like if I put a grievance that he was a steward, whatever the case may be, we do the hearings together. It got to a point where they would tell one of us, nah, man, we don't need both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you go back to work. <laughs> so, I mean, so it, it's. You don't need two shots, though. Well, they, they definitely want us in here yeah. together. But you don't need two shop stores. Right. If you do two shop stores, if you're weak. And here's the thing. And the thing about weakness and all that stuff, you cannot be a leader if you're afraid. Like Jumbo said, he don't care if he won't get fired. I Man, we've been threatened to be fired so many times, it's ridiculous. And even though we still stand up. Gotcha. Right. We right. went to Las Vegas. When right. a crowd of people who didn't like us. And I'm gonna tell you something. Yellow, and never, we had a hotel room. I ain't gonna never the forget that. Room never, paid for. I'm never. Don't forget the hotel room. Somebody paid brought for. that up to me. I had a conversation with one of the guys from Morgan Avenue who brought that up to me the other day, because they still talk about what, how they try to do us over there. They sent us out there. They didn't, they didn't take care of nothing. We go up there, man. Uh, what y'all? They're like, what y'all doing out here? You, you, y'all ain't supposed to be out here. <laughs> you know, they wanted the, 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 the most of the people out there wanted me to file. Um, uh, uh, Election charges and all this other kind of stuff, man. They they did their best, and that's the thing about it. They try to do that. We still here. They beat us in 2016, barely, barely, and we still here. Never left. Never left. They try to say my man here. All our summer meetings, he voted. He in one meet he voted. He was against the contract. The rest then of the he summer so bad he came back and changed it. Right. Then then then. Now he with the contract. So you know what we did? We came up with a bylaw amendment to make it transparency. No matter what you guys try to do, have done, 
thinking about doing, it will not work. This, I think that this is the last, well, they got nine months, they got nine months left. Nine months left. But it all comes down to you guys. It all comes down to how you feel about your, your family, how you feel about the people you work next to you. We can go back and forth. We can we can talk about how we're going to be. We're going to educate the membership. We can show you. We can fight for the members. We can show you. We can stand up to the company. We can show you. We can do everything that we always been doing. But it ultimately, it comes down to your vote and what you want. You keep telling us they're a bum and they ain't doing this and they ain't doing that. But what are you coming out to the hall and tell them for yourself? Because that's the only way. That's the only way things are going to get done. That's the only way. You got to come down and let them know. Yeah, Clarence and I was, we was doing something yesterday, and the driver came up to us. He started talking to us. He started talking to us, right? He said, I follow you guys on the radio. And he said, I voted no. He said, I'm a new driver. I need somebody who's going to fight for me, right? And you know what? That made us feel good. I mean, he just came up and said, I know you guys. Right. You're jump. I know who you are. Remember? And, and you know, I, I'm a... I, I, Nothing gratifies me more than a satisfied member. Right. I mean, it ain't not, it ain't nothing that you can give me. No, no, no pay, no nothing. What 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 gratifies me is when a member is happy and satisfied that you were that you represented him. Right. That you did right by him, and that's all that matters to me is the is the happiness of the membership. Right. We need to strengthen the members. We need to educate the members. Right. And we need to most and foremost is protect their rights. So when a, like I said, when the driver comes up and say, yeah, I, I follow you guys, I see what y'all are doing, that to me, it, it hits home. Right. Because the only reason I'm doing this of the members. is for the members. That's it. That's it. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Yeah, I agree, man. 100%. 100%. So you guys, um, like you guys heard all the rumors, it's only going to get worse. Be prepared. We're going to be... What you, what you see here and the rest of our team, we're going to be the worst people knowing the man. You remember last time they had a uh, the, the um, police report out on us, the criminal history and all that. They, it's going to be more. And, and, and what I'm going I'm to suggest this to all the people because we had a member that really spoke up for us, and we appreciate that. This is what it's going to take. You guys are going to have to keep speaking up. When, they, when people start attacking us, you're going to have to speak up. You're going to have to speak up. Because we're not going to give in to the negativity, you know what I mean? We can't because we're focused on we, we, we're focused on the victory for our members and their families. And when you focus on victory, you can't worry about people that has already been defeated. You can't. They haven't done anything. The people in the office they keep giving us concessions. The company do whatever they want to do to them, and they keep selling us out. So there's no reason to keep worrying about what they say, what they do. Listen, I don't care, oh, I, and I can speak for everybody on the team. We don't care if it's 10 slates, 100 slates, 1,000 slates. It does not matter. We don't care about what nothing they said or what they're going to do. You know why? Because we've been doing it. We're going to keep doing it regardless of what anybody say, what anybody do. We don't care. We're here, like Clarence said, for one reason, for the members and their families. We don't care what people say. Those days are over, so they can say whatever. But what we can't do is let confusion to keep Operating like this whole thing, I could tell there was a problem with uh, they kept saying that they offered me the job and I turned it down. And then, Clarence, we kept getting calls because people didn't know who to believe. And, like Clarence and I said earlier, if you don't hear from one of us, do not believe it, it's a lie, and we don't operate in that. It's all about truth, productivity, moving forward, your family, fighting the company, fighting the IBT and the Hoffa, and getting rid of this e board. That's it. That's it. And like, uh, just like Rich said, you don't hear from us, then don't believe it. Because our main purpose is transparency. What we know, we want you to know. Right. And, it's, and, 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 and I mean what we know. I don't mean what we heard right. or what we think. is what we know is what we're going to tell people. And, and, and that's our biggest focus. And, you know, as far as who's going to be the next B.A., I mean, it's only seven spots, and, you know, they really don't know how to deal with the members with the seven spots, right? And everybody fighting for a spot, right? You know, if you was to, like, send people ahead of convention, 
females to <laughs> women's conference, stuff like that, right? It wouldn't be that much. People would be appreciated, right? But everybody fighting for seven spots. Like now for the BA, this BA, no. There's a lot of people qualify. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that deserve it. So what happened is they should just come out and say who, who it is. Right. Not me. So we're going to find out. Yeah. The Ebo and me, I'm going to find out, right? No, I, I don't know. No, no, because what happened is the only way I'm going to find out if the person don't be there. Well, that's the thing. Who, yeah, why might I find out to the meet? Right, but, right. But who's sad. Say, but who say they're going to replace them by that time? So we, we might not even know. Yeah, but that, but it's sad. They should go ahead and say who who, who got it. This they're, this they're, is how it should have been handled from a principal office position. Hey, look. I call. I, I, I meet with every one of my shop students. Hey, look. Right, right. This is, this is what happened on the board. Right. This person, uh, either I had to get rid of him right. or he stepped down. And this is why. Right. Say it won't be. Jungle All the going around, right. uh, yeah. going, Clarence going around, no, 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 no. This is why. Right. Then I go to the web page. On such and such date, Rob Warrenby, either he quit or I had to get rid of him, and these are the reasons why. Now, we all are determined. We're going to keep doing what we've been doing. We're going to keep fighting for the members. We are announced so-and-so business agent on this date. We'll right. keep you informed. Right. Now, I got another meeting with my shop store. Yo. This is the new BA for whatever, whatever, whatever. All the shop stores affected in this area, here's, here's his number. If you got any questions, contact me or him or her. And that's how you do it. That's right. how you conduct business. That's well, how you're supposed to do it. Now, as a shop store, me personally, I feel disrespected. I'm going to tell you why. Because as a shop store, we are the ones on the floor. Right. So we're the ones that, are, that the members come to to get answers. And now it, it, it is what was really ironic. They've always told us if you don't know something, then, then you let the member know, look, I don't know, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> but how are we supposed to find out when they don't tell us no? Right. So if members come to me, oh, well, what happened? Or, look, dude, I don't know because they won't tell us. So that's why we really want transparency in this local. That's why I've always tried to be transparent at the yeah, store. Right. But at the stop store, I feel disrespected. Because a lot of stuff is going on in the local you don't that know. we represent, for, and we don't have no For that example, look at Kevin Mallory. He was my BA, right? Before he stepped down or <coughs> quit or whatever, I had five grievances with him. I come back to work, oh, Kevin Mallory no longer the BA. What, what happened? What, what happened? I ain't getting no call. I don't know what happened to my, all I, well, the grievances come to find out somebody else signed off on them and whatever else. But my BA, I get it. We, we run it against you. But I'm still your member. I'm still your shop steward. Pick up the phone and say, hey, hooker, I had to step away. You ain't got to tell me why, but just give me the, the courtesy and say, hey, look, because I'm your BA. Hey, look, this is why I'm stepping down. I, I effective immediately. This is going to be the new one. If you got any questions, I gave your grievances to somebody else, whatever. Let me know something. Don't let me hear it through the grave. He still ain't never told me nothing. No, I, I, I see Abe just chimed in. So I, so I, I just want you to let you know, Abe, that <laughs> all the rumors was totally false. I was not offered the position. I did not accept the position. I'm with 63 Lives Matter. Always was, always will be. Oh, I'm glad you said that, you were 63 Lives Matter. Listen, a lot of people confused. They say I'm with Unity. Yo, listen. Oh, yeah, with, yeah, 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 just clean that up. I want my seat. When I want my seat, I want my seat with 63 Lives Matter. I'm not a part of Unity. I will never be a part of Unity. I jump in the river before I be part of Unity. <laughs> he you can't swim. Me? Yeah, and I can't swim. <laughs> Yo, so what happened is, uh, there's another mic out. Wait. Yeah, no, I don't know what happened. Oh, you, oh, you, you dropped it out. You rough on everything, man. My phone, tear it up. There we go. Yeah, I forgot what meet, what meet was it at down Union Hall when they said that we only work the people on preload that we like. Remember when they said that? Yeah. And that's why they changing it, yada, yada, yada. Well, what happened with, if you take a 22-3 job, you take a building ship preload job, right? You load. But they changed it. Now people show up. They said, oh, I got a 22-3 job, right? But I'm slash building ship slash DA or slash small sort, right? Listen. It's, that's, it's no such thing as like that. You're supposed to load. You're supposed to load. That's what I'm supposed to be. Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah, or not. Well, 
we tried to get job preference over here for the senior guys. And I say the contract does say that. Well, it says preload. It don't, but I mean, I, say, I don't know what it says because Shanahan always switches. That's what we're gonna have. When you yeah. came, you always was, you was always, you, you was building ship and you load. You load, but that's not happening now. People showing up saying they got their own deal. Joni saying, no, they in small sort of whatever, right? That, it's never been like that. Yeah, it's not, man. A, a lot of stuff <coughs> has changed with the, with the leadership change, and it's not a good change. Though that's why we got to change it again, and we got to get these guys out of office. We got, like you said, we got to rich in so we can make a lot of different changes. And let's say, all we want is change for the better. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so I was going around the, uh, this morning, and I was coming from feeders, and Joe Stewart grabbed me. He said, Jim, I keep signing the bid for Oregon Avenue. How come I don't get it? I said, I hate to tell you this. Uh, a lot of people been signing the bid for Oregon Avenue, 22, 3, but you ain't going to get it. He said, why? I said, you ain't going to get it. I said, you say, he said, why, Jump? I said, bro, you just ain't going to get it. He said, Jump, but I keep signing. I said, they're not going by contract. What happened is, if they won't show you who got what job, how you going to know what's going on? Right. See, I got this job. I got this job, right? I got, so oh, I got building shit preload job, right? You got two weeks to challenge it. How can you challenge it if you don't know? But that's the thing. That's the thing about transparency. If no member <coughs> should feel like they're being cheated. Like, if he signed these bids, right. he needs to know why he ain't get it. Why he ain't get it. Right. They need to tell, they need to put up who got the bid? Yeah. So this way, if there is a, because I mean, it could be a, a, a error, we don't know. Right. But if there is, at least you, you, you know you what's have going a chance on. to right. find out. Right. right. But if they just, it's the job that's go, like, it's like the job goes down and you don't hear nothing. How can you, you know, challenge? It? You How can you challenge? You can't challenge you can't. if you know somebody show up and say I got this job. Well, yo, dude. Who are you? I mean, I, right. I, I didn't know. I mean, I, I, what's your seniority? But so, what's the problem with? Telling people who got the job, so this way, if there's a seniority issue, then it can be addressed. And if the person has more seniority, then you don't feel cheated because you know somebody with more right. seniority got right. the job. Right, right, I agree. I agree. I agree. Is our Galen anybody over there? No, nobody. No. no. Oh, I guess we got a little bit more time, man. Uh, the next, the next show, come on. All right, I, I guys, again, from everybody that's coming in here, hey, we'll let you guys know that um, the rumors that you heard are just rumors, not true. We were not offered any position. No um, meetings. No meetings, uh, none of that stuff. So, all right, so you heard it from here, this is the truth. Nobody was offered anything. Even if we were offered it, we would have turned it down. We, we built something here that we really want to grow and keep going. To, to, you know, everybody is, is, is involved in it. Everybody knows it. So in order to, if we, if we would have did something like that, then it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been for the members. It'd been just like you know, like some people rumored. Uh, we just wanted for the position or title. Now we wanted to do this for the members. The members deserve better. Um, they will get better, but they just got to put it on paper. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, if I mean, if we was to go to the vote, I mean, we had names like you know, you we could put names up. You know, I'm on the board. If I could put a name up, right? I would vote for Clarence Smart. <laughs> I hear you. He might be on there, like, like you said, though. Uh, they may be talking about the wrong clan. Well, I would, I would vote for either one of the clans. Right, right. They get it right. right. You know what I mean? <laughs> but me personally, I'm, I, I wouldn't accept it because I want, I, I need to believe in my leadership. Right. If I don't believe or trust my <laughs> leadership, you say we could be transparent. But the A, I'm, I'm, tr I'm, I'm. Tr <laughs> Hey, I'm trying, hey. I'm, I'm trying to be transparent. Hey, crazy. This is why I wanted to let everybody know that the rumors are false. I was not off the I can position. see him. I can see him saying it too. <laughs> that was, is cracking me up. There was no meeting. I did not accept the position. None of that. So, as transparent as I can be, I'm letting y'all know, the members, that it was all those rumors are completely false. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Hey, hey, you too much, man. Hey, you might be the next BA, man. For all we know, you might be throwing it off. Soon. And you may we go down there on the 19th, and you see you up there marching up there. And you're going to have some explaining to do then, man. We're we going we gonna to get you then, man. Every yeah. time we see you, we're going to get you. But if they don't, if they wait till the 19th, right, yo, we're going to have a problem. 
You know what? We're gonna have problems. People probably might go off down there. You know what I mean? But now, then, I mean, you should you go ahead and announce who it is. It is what it is, right? Because if you wait till that meeting, right? Listen. Yeah, they're gonna be going fired up. Somebody's there. gonna get thrown out. Well, you're least, out of order. You're out of order. Yeah. If you're out of order, yeah. you're out of order. Yeah, you you're out, out of order. order. You're out of order. Yeah, that's his thing, man. <laughs> but the thing is, why should we have to wait till the 19th? And my thing is, I don't even trust the fact that we that we, we, we might still not know. Right. We don't know nothing. Right. Oh, that's bad, no, man. This is bad. As shop stores and members of the board. <laughs> We don't know nothing because they won't tell us nothing. Yeah, that's that's, that's sad. You know, it's one thing for not to tell us, but Jumbo is right there on the board. He, he should have been one of the Yo, first listen, to know. I sat there. I sat there. Right? I sat there. I'm sitting there at the e-board meeting, right? I mean, you know. I mean, you know. They, they, they had their own meeting upstairs. Then they come downstairs. We have a meeting, right? So I'm sitting there, right? And I leave out. When I leave out Friday, everybody called me. talking about, Yo, Jump. Rob Wartby got fired. Rob Wartby quit. Rob Wartby ain't, uh, B.A. no money. What are you talking about? He was sitting right there with me. That's what I'm a jump. He said, oh, he was sitting right there with me, right? That's what I'm a jump. He turned his papers in. He got fired. Uh, Shanahan wrote him up. And he said he can't work for Shanahan. But Shanahan, here's a B.A. saying he cannot work for Shanahan because he's weak. Y'all voted for him. The B.A. is telling him, I quit. You're weak. I mean, what, what more you need? It's weak. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out, y'all. You know, we can keep beating it, you know, beating it over the head. We're going to find out. We're going to find out, you know, if people really think he's weak or whatnot. You know, we're going to find out. But we're going to get out of here, y'all. Always a pleasure. Always. Thank you guys for listening um, and watching on Facebook Live. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the messages. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for all that you do. Again, the 19th is the union meeting. Uh, that's when we present the bylaw amendment. Don't forget the, the Christmas party. Friday at Lehman's. Friday, the Christmas party is anytime at, 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 at Lehman's. Anytime Friday after 6. Um, anytime after uh, 6 o'clock for the drivers. All right? Make sure you come out. You guys deserve it. You guys work hard. Make sure you come out and uh, enjoy yourself. Again, we're going to get out of here. We love you guys. Appreciate all the support. God bless you guys. See you guys. Next week, don't forget, do, don't forget, you guys keep complaining about these guys. Put it on paper. Put it on paper. Put it on paper. <laughs> that, that's it. Richard Hooker, Secretary Treasurer, Local 623. Don't forget, call the Union Hall, make sure they had the correct address, and they make sure you had the phone number. Richard Hooker, Secretary <laughs> Treasurer, Local 623. Hey, hey, why you got to wait until the next live, man? Do it right now before we get, before we get off. That's who it is, man. Tell us real quick. Who, who the next BA, man? We know you got the inside in the inside source. Who is it? Real quick. Yeah, we all want to know. We all want to know, man. <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna put it up there. <laughs> all right, y'all. We love you guys again. Don't forget, we gotta we gotta vote these guys out. If you want a chance at what real unionism is, then give us a chance. All right. Six two three lives matter. We love you guys. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, it's gonna be Jeff Hester. Jeff Hester. Zali or Harry Brown. <laughs> now, yeah, listen, it's three people. You Zali. You no, I can't that? see. I can't see. Listen, it's going to be Zali, Jeff Hester, or Harry Brown. Hey. All right. Hey. Now, if it ain't one of them three, right, <laughs> drinks on me at, what's, well, drinks on me at, what's your call? Drinks on him at, at uh, matter of fact, who, who's going to be? Miller. Who, no, who's going to be? be? Zali. Right. Harry Brown. Okay. Or... Hester. Jeff Hester. All right, and if it ain't one of them, right. drinks on us at Miller's. And, 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 and I'm going to throw something on top at of Miller's. it. I'm going to go down there with an Eagle jersey on Carson Wentz. And Miller's. Tell Miller's. All right. Miller's. I'm going to be an Eagle fan. Miller's. Miller's. All right. Miller's. Miller's L House. Miller's L House of Oregon Avenue down the area. If, if those names don't be it, no, if, if one of those names. Drinks on us. On me. Drinks on Jumbo. And, I, and, I, and I'll and be serving it with my Eagle jersey. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Talk to y'all. God bless. Peace out. Any response? <laughs> no, he's